Good morning everyone and welcome back to Posh Cats Cabby. I'm sitting here in our conservatory at home on a Saturday morning, not even realising it was Saturday. Um, having the elevensies, you know, just had a biscuit and a nice cup of hot tea and thinking about some of the jobs that we need to do today. Let's go outside and have a little look, see what Bertie's getting up to. Oh, just one other thing before we go outside. Just like to say a big thank you to John for helping us with a few bits and pieces of merch. Um, we'll be talking to you about those a little bit more in due course, but uh, John's put a lot of work into it, so I really appreciate your time and, uh, and doing that for us, John. Um, also, thank you to all our new and old subscribers who have stuck with us over the time. We've been doing this for just over three years. Um, we're getting on for nearly 400 videos on our channel now and uh, we've achieved 5,000 subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do. It, it does help our channel grow and uh, we're pushing on uh, up towards 800,000 views now, which uh, really is incredible. And uh, we thank you, all of you, for helping us to achieve that. Let's go outside and see what's happening out there. outside on the drive and it's a beautiful day middle of June now and uh, here's Bertie we've we've moved him away from the fence and uh, as I said just now I've cleaned him Sue's just getting on with some hoovering and uh, is gonna make the beds up so let's go and see what she's up to hello mate what's mummy up to yeah what's mummy up to This is what I've been taught recently that these jersey sheets, fitted jersey sheets are much better and they are as well because you don't get all the wrinkles that you get with a normal cotton fitted sheet. So, and you don't have to iron them, so that's even better. Uh, um, I'd like some tips as to how you can make these beds up in a dignified manner because I always have to climb on it. Uh, 
and being a nurse, I'm afraid I have to have hospital corners. Now we do have a couple of um, hoses for filling up the motorhome with. Sue's still busy doing the hoovering. And um, I was going to show you the, the couple of hoses. I have one in, in the garage here, which I, I use when I'm on the driveway. I just get that out and fill up, uh, fill up the van. But I also have another hose that we carry on board. And uh, that's in the man lock around the other side. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so this is where I keep all the chemicals and uh, all the bits and pieces that we need um, for when we're travelling. Um, I carry this now. This is a, I used to have one of these a long time ago. This is a washing machine hose, and I find it really useful for uh, it's about a metre and a half long. Um, and going from the tap to the watering can, or from the tap to the aqua roll, it's really useful. Now here's my box. It's not full of chocolates. Um, it is a handy plastic box though because inside here is where I keep my hose and uh, it is a flat hose that uh, will expand and is really quite good um, it's the blue food grade as well so uh, that's really good and once it's in here it, it, it fits into the the thing really well but it does just take a little bit of time to wind it up like that and coil it up and put it in the box. This little bag here, this little waterproof bag that I've got all sorts of these little gadgets. Um, oh, there's two, they're almost the same, different colour. Um, got one of these. I wonder where that was. <laughs> um, and one that you fit on a tap as well. Let me get that out here on one hand. There's some more in there, look, and one that you can fit on a on a rubber tap with a Jubilee clip, um, just there as well, and that's it. So um, quite useful if you're out and about and uh, you need to um, find a, a hose connector, um, and I keep that all in that one plastic box don't generally get that one out at home because um, as I say it does take a few minutes just to wind it up but that is really compact and it's uh, if there is any water residue water it just keeps it in the in the box um, and uh, doesn't leak out into the van anywhere now this is the hose that I have at home uh, I keep it in a quite a thick polythene bag um, you know it's a non tear polythene bag and uh, literally Check it out 
and there we have it. It's um, about 10 meters long, has one of these on it with a, um, a removable uh, quick release which also has a stop valve in it so if you take this off you can have the hose under pressure and the water will still come out. Um, this nozzle here fits into the hole of the motor home where the filler is. I'll show you that in a second. Let's just unroll that and take it around to the side of the van. Now one of the things I've decided to do this morning is something I regularly do uh, here on Bertie. Um, filling up the freshwater tank, which is around about 90 litres, uh, equivalent of about two aqua rolls. Filling up the tank right brimming full. In fact, if I keep going, it will overflow through the overflow vent. And, and at that point, I turn the hose off. Um, I'm then going to transfer half of that through the taps and down the waste to the grey waste vents uh, to rinse them through. We've noticed there's a, just a hint of grey water smell in the motorhome, which is something we want to avoid in hot weather. It's really not nice. Um, but we're going to run with using the pump and using Bertie's own uh, system. Going to run some of that off. So I've got a full tank of fresh water. I'm going to run about half of that off about 40 litres off and I'm going to run it through both the um, washroom and the kitchen sinks to uh, flush through and just rinse through uh, those. Right at the end then I'm going to add in a little bit of tank fresh and uh, just rinse that through into the tank. Um, empty, uh, first of all I'm going to empty the grey tank, let it rush uh, through and then close the grey tank, put a little bit of tank fresh into the two sinks and then probably about half a gallon of water, two litres through each sink, something like that, um, just to freshen it up and I'll leave that in the grey tank and that uh, half a gallon or so can slosh about when we're driving around. It, it is hardly any weight at all and it would just keep the, the tank smelling fresh and neutralise any of the nasties. So this is the stuff I've been using. It's um, Elsan Grey Water Tank Fresh and it says eliminates odour, uh, dissolves grease and keeps your system fresh as a daisy. Well, I can't argue with that. You only need a, a, an egg cupful in each sink and just rinse it through into the tank and then add a little extra water just to um, make sure it moves around inside the tank. Okay, so F Sue's finished the hoovering in here now. So um, I've, I'm in the kitchen of the motorhome. I'm going to run off some of the uh, fresh water from the fresh water tank just to rinse through the grey waste pipes, really, just rinse them through. I'm going to leave the valve half and half so that we uh, run the water through the hot boiler tank as well just a rinsing exercise. Well how do I know how much water has gone through? Well, a little bit of a guesswork but there is a, a feature on the um, Swift system that shows four bars when it's full, three, two, one and empty and there's an alarm that goes off once it's empty. So. Um, I'm just going to take it down to two bars. And just under here is a waste drain, which I'm now going to release. So that's now finished and I've um, rinsed down the brickwork here because that was a little bit smelly uh, just with the hose and now I'll put that uh, tap, close the valve and, and tuck it back up in, underneath the van.
can already smell that's nice and fresh. So we just put uh, a couple of litres of water down there. That will freshen the pipes up. And a little bit in there as well. I'm going to put the plug in. Okay, time to check this tank. It's already been done once, but I'm going to check it again to make sure there's sufficient chemical in there to keep it fresh. Well, we did this tank when we left the site last time and uh, it's not been used since. I've checked it, it all looks good, it's got green uh, eco-friendly chemical in and uh, so that's pretty much ready to go and uh, put my gloves back in there. Sound? Well I always take too much. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I had to downscale. And I've got this pile here as well. So I've got this lot to put away as well. Just as well we've got the storage space, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. It's got a big wardrobe there, babe. Yeah, I, I think we could probably leave some of these coats behind, couldn't we? Yeah, we just want showerproof coats, really, don't we? Just to know, because last time we had cold weather summer time, but not all of the time. Yeah, Derbyshire, North North Derbyshire, so it could be chilly. We keep the fleeces and warm things here all the time to cover. You've got plenty of fleeces there, but I don't think you need to take this one. I think we can put that in the house as well. And make a bit of space. Well, you have got a pair of jeans in there. So how many pairs of jeans do you want packed? Ah, oh, just a spare pair. Just a few scarves. A few scarves, yeah. Far more important than my jeans. <laughs> yeah. I've got... I'm to hang the hooks round the opposite way. Come on. So one one way, one the other. Yeah, I don't know what, that's what other people do. And that stops them from hopping off when you go over a bump. Yeah. Oh, there you go, yeah, anything that's got winter written on it can come out. I think these can go indoors, don't they? Yeah. Try and cut back a bit. Yeah. You've got a gilet there. Gilet's always handy. You can put them over fleece, can't you? Well we've just about finished loading up the van, there's a few more last minute things to do like putting the uh, fresh food in the fridge. Um, I have switched the fridge on so it's chilling down and uh, the freezer as well so we'll put all the food in there last minute uh, once the fridge is nicely chilled and uh, we'll be away first thing bright and early on Tuesday morning. We're heading off to uh, Croden which is a camping and caravan club site up in North Peak in Derbyshire and uh, guess who's coming with us yeah Sheila and Joe it'd be lovely to be camping with them again for the first time this season so uh, we'll have a chat with Joe and find out what he's been up to he's not been sitting around waiting for things to happen he's been a busy boy this year so we look forward to seeing Sheila and Joe on the campsite with us on Tuesday that's it for now we'll see you next time bye for now